guys. What's up? Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie, you're going to be able to speak to this. We're talking about the Yalapa retreat. So we want to invite you and Sue will be joining us probably pretty soon. She's our co-leader for yoga um, to our spiritual medicine healing retreat in January in Yalapa, Mexico. So <laughs> uh, we, we are going to go January 16th through the 21st this year. And Yalapa is one of my, probably my favorite place. Probably. Um, favorite place ever because of the healing transformation that takes place. So why do we call it a spiritual medicine retreat? Because of the transformation that happens physically, emotionally, mentally, what are you doing with your mouth? Spiritually <laughs> on these retreats. So I went, this whole process of taking groups of people to the retreats in Mexico started when I went there just for a personal retreat. And for those of you who like synchronicities and numbers, um, before we even landed in Puerto Vallarta, that's where we fly into, I could feel as like, you're gonna be bringing people there. And I was like, what, I haven't even been there yet. And we landed at 333. And when I got there in the taxi, it was, the taxi was 111. So there's just been a lot of synchronicities the whole way there. And when you get there, you just feel kind of like this weight lifted off and through the program that we designed to take attendees through and by the way your your cost includes everything besides your flight so it's your food your excursions your healing sessions everything and the the program that we really designed to take people through men and women young and old mm -hmm. any it's really for anyone is to help your physical body heal your mental body heal your emotional body heal and then you to connect a little bit deeper spiritually. So spiritual medicine, all of our disease, all of our ailments, our pain, our emotional pain starts in our energy field. So when we can heal our energetic field and connect spiritually to our real medicine, we can be our highest vibration and highest version of ourselves. What do you want to add to that? Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. It's, uh, it's a magical place. Yeah. Um, the atmosphere, um, the fact that I think you can only get there by boat is really, really, yeah. really cool and really unique. Um, you see so many cool <laughs> creatures, so many cool, uh, a different style of living that we're not used to. So we, we fly in usually as a group or we kind of wait for everyone to get there at Puerto Vallarta Airport. And so from Kansas City, if you're local, it's a, it's a pretty easy mm -hmm. flight. It's one connecting in like Sedona or I think Dallas. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you get to Puerto Vallarta, we all meet up, we get a like travel van and we go to the pier. And from the pier, we take a boat to this private island. That's what's so cool about Yalapa is there's no cars um, and everyone pretty much knows each other. It's small, but it's wilderness. So it's like rainforest jungle, um, waterfalls, and the retreat center itself has a pool, a hot tub, private ocean view rooms with hammocks and all of it's pumped out before people get there with salt water oh pumped yeah back in with salt water so if we work together in functional medicine you're probably getting into the lower toxic living and what's really cool about their pools and their hot tubs they're a they bacteria test the water but it's all ocean water and it's filtered with sunlight so there's no chemicals in the pool so we can all be thankful for that and then if we worked together in functional medicine don't worry your nutrition is spot on what what it really is the best for your body. We start the day with juice, a full breakfast if juice isn't your thing. Um, the meals are mostly vegetarian, but you guys brought in- Some fish, yeah. <clears throat> tell, tell us what you caught. Uh, yeah, it was the first day that a bunch of the guys went out and uh, caught a bunch of chur chura, chura fish. Um, what? We brought that back. What is it in English? I don't know. I, it was I, good fish. They call it, I think <laughs> they called it something like a tuna, a small mm -hmm. tuna. But, like a small uh, tuna. Yeah, I went out and caught a bunch of that. I think they cooked that for us a few days, cooked some uh, ceviche. They had, they had it ceviche. raw, right off the boat with yeah. some pico, it was really good. Um, um, yeah, but everything you eat there is pretty much <coughs> from local. And yeah. It's pretty clean, pretty organic. The fruit. Pretty, yes, the mangoes, everywhere. The ma So they were like, in January when we go, there's mangoes. And then in June, it's avocado season. So avocados just drop down and you can pick them up, cut them open, slice them open for a snack. It's, it's really, really good. So let's talk about the layout of the day. So mm -hmm. if you're just 
joining us. The We're talking about our spiritual medicine healing retreat coming up in January in the Alapa 16th through the 21st. Um, all the information's on my website, but we're gonna run through the breakdown of the day. We talked about why we call it spiritual medicine. Um, yeah, tell us about the rundown of the day. What you wake <laughs> up and then you Check. go get breakfast. <laughs> no, you do. Jeff slept in. He didn't go to the yoga every day. Oh, so yeah, Sue. Oh, <laughs> forgot about yoga. Sorry, Sue. Shall I be joining us? Jeff. Okay, I'll do this part. <laughs> we wake up and we have yoga available. You don't have to do everything. You can do... I was a nighttime yoga kind of guy. Yeah. We, <laughs> we wake up, we do yoga, and it's your choice if you come. And it's, it's modified for all levels. Mm -hmm. And then, Jeff, your favorite part. Breakfast. Breakfast. Tell them about the coffee and the honey. Yeah, oh yeah, that, local, that honey oh. is the local honey is so good. It's, bees were even on it. it was bees so good. bees were on the honey. It was like <laughs> I it was forgot like, about it. It was crack. It was delicious. It was really good. Breakfast so what is breakfast? They usually have like beans, mm -hmm. potatoes, big bowl of fruit, juice, yeah. sometimes eggs. I usually did uh, fruit with a little bit of like granola and honey. Oh yeah, on the it. granola. Um, sometimes coffee. a fresh mango. They'll have coffee available before the yoga for people who, yeah. who like the coffee. So after breakfast, we always go on an excursion. Mm -hmm. So the first day, the guys went fishing. Mm -hmm. Tell them about the fishing. That was cool. So uh, two of the guys there, Carlos and uh, Alejandro, Alex, yeah. um, he was actually getting married that weekend after we were there. Um, they took us out, woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning, wasn't even light out. Uh, had the opportunity to go on a boat, mm -hmm. and they pretty much drove us around everywhere. and probably out there for three or four hours, I would say, went all up and down the coastline. But how did you do the fishing pole? This is the coolest part, I think. Uh, yeah, so I almost compare it to, I don't have anything here, um, but it's... Uh, it's like just it's this big string. Yeah, it's this big ring that's got fishing line wrapped around it, and you toss out your line, and you just kind of let the, uh, the line go as they drive the boat. But then whenever you get a fish, you just have to grab the line and circle it back around. On like they would be they said that if they were so successful they would uh fingers would be bleeding, they just tape it back up and keep going. If, like if with electrical biting, tape. Yeah. So that was Jeff, a lot of fun. Was a lot Jeff of cool. came back all bloody. But one thing that I thought was really cool about the the way they fish there is they have like a lot of reverence mm -hmm. for this lighting's getting dark. Sorry if you can't see us, but you can hear us. <laughs> they they like said a prayer. Oh yeah. They said a prayer like over the heart and had like reverence for the fish and the life that they were taking and then yeah. eating. So um, after excursion, so we have waterfall hikes, we have a sweat lodge, mm -hmm. we do go out on the boats, we go snorkeling, we go swimming, we go to the main beach. They have like parasailing and different options that you can elect to do. Mm -hmm. We come back and we have lunch and lunch is, I mean delicious, like authentic yeah. California and Mexican cuisine. They make soups, they make beans and rice, they make potatoes, they make um, it was a like different pasta thing every salads. Day, which was the best. Yeah, we didn't ever have, have the same thing twice. And the always the, had fresh avocado or guacamole. Yeah, and salsas. always guac, fruit, salads. They do lots of salads. And then after lunchtime, and you can do juice. Some people choose to juice fast there to really get into the the physical body cleanse. I usually do like three days, and then the other two days I eat, so I get a little bit of both. Um, and they have smoothies at the smoothie bar. They have nut balls. Oh, there's nut balls. <laughs> <laughs> they, they literally have everything. Um, and teas and different things. But then you have your healing sessions in the afternoon. So this is like energy healing, massage, Watsu. If you've never heard of Watsu, it is like massage and yoga in a hot tub. With, like you lie there and the practitioner is like kneading you, massaging you and working your body in the water. It feels, it feels really good. You, you had a good experience. Yeah, it was fun. It's very meditative and can really take you deep. The stories that people tell. So in the afternoon, you're in your sessions and then in resting. And then the evening, we come together for yoga. And then after, if you skip yoga, you can come to circle and we share. And this is the part where it gets the spiritual medicine title of people were having, you know, these great connections um, to the spirit, to their self, to their higher self, to God, to source, and or just intense experiences, understanding themselves, learning about themselves. Jeff, what do you, what's the story you can think of that you want to share about someone's, well, I'll tell one about, I almost said her name, but um, we were in a breathwork session and her mm -hmm. grandma had passed away the week before we left. And she just felt that presence and 
a really encouraging and helpful message that she needed from her grandma in the breath work. And I don't know if it's, I think one, Yalop is a magical place, but the fact that you get away from everything, out of the matrix, mm -hmm. in nature, you're by, you have all the elements. So you have land, you have the forest, you have the water, you have the air. It's really clean air because there's no cars. So it's, it's really like, you can tell when you get back to the yeah. city that the air quality is different. Um, but that frequency is just different. So you're, we're so connected when we're there. I know some of the biggest revelations in my personal life and in my business have come from the yoga deck, Yalapa, where we meditate, where we do some of these sessions. And you cap and you cap, there. cap, yeah, we have um, so different energy sessions. healing and, and then we have a shaman that does the sweat tent. So that's kind of the afternoon, the evening, a circle. We get around and share. You don't have to come to anything and everything. Um, you can just kind of piecemeal what you want to do together. And then we have dinner and dinner's usually my favorite meal. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have salad, soup, if they do meat, it's usually at dinner. Potatoes, they made like a quinoa salad. They do, oh, no, good idea. <laughs> um, it's like a quinoa salad. They did that like carrot, creamy mm -hmm. coconut soup. Everything is really, really good. And as a guy, I mean, Jeff, so for the guys who are interested or, you know, your husband or your boyfriend or um, your guy friends want to come, like it's sustainable food for men. Yeah, I think I'll probably get it. Jeff was worried about that because I like it because the food's so cleansing and healing and yeah. But you, you did get. <laughs> and the nice thing too is, if you want to go to town, they've got towns mm -hmm. a short walk, and so I think we were getting papayas every other day. I was buying papaya, yeah, huge papayas and eating them. And, yeah. and so they've got fresh fruit. But your and food, stuff in town there, all you can eat is included in the retreat price. So your food, your stay, your excursions, mm -hmm. your sessions, everything, besides your um, airfare, your travel is included. So if you don't have a passport and you're even on the fence, definitely get it. Um, we do, we talked about yoga. We do about two yoga sessions a day, daily meditation, and then the scenery there. The waterfall hikes are, there's two. So there's like a low level. Anyone can really get into town. And then um, there's a harder level, which will be there during the dry season. We were just there during the wet season and we made it. Um, it wasn't too bad. A couple of days it rained, but in January, when I was there, the weather is perfect. Like you sleep with a blanket at night for sure. Um, so it's not hot and then in the morning you might have like a light sweatshirt like this and then during the daytime I mean just kind of run around in your swimsuit the retreat center owner Chris he said really you need two things to come here a swimsuit and a water bottle and yeah. that's that's true like yeah. everything else I mean you don't even need shoes I don't really wear shoes I don't even know if I use a water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you just drink out of the ocean um so I got by. <laughs> what else am I Prices are on my website um, and the $2,000 price range for everything. So there's a couple of options for a, and there's two package options. So you can do like like all the massage and all the sessions or you yeah, can do like a sessions, more like the okay, modest session. Um, but then there's a discount room that you can do like kind of a dorm room style, if not private. So you can do like a shared room and that will knock down your price into the $1,000 range. So mm -hmm. this is... Out of all retreats, an extremely affordable retreat. So sessions, um, massage, obviously, we call it "You Got Marisol." Um, she, <laughs> she's probably the best masseuse. She does like deep body body work. Yeah, and then there's another there's another gal there, Jessie or Yessie, that will give you more of like that like lighter touch massage. So you mm -hmm. have a choice. Um, we talked about Watsu, energy healing. I don't do the energy healing, so you get to experience energy healing from other practitioners um that are breath, breath work because that was your favorite yeah the owner does that chris he's mm -hmm. he's really good it's something you can tell he's done before but yeah. you just go deep just have some fun with it i think my favorite part is the fact that the retreat center itself so like all the ladies who work in the kitchen who clean the guys who are there working on maintenance every day um they're all like locals yeah. and speak mostly spanish but there's I mean, a lot of them, the, the admin staff is able to communicate. The retreat center owner, Chris, and I hope he, he probably will watch this. He's from Cowboy from Tennessee that knows one word in Spanish and he says hola. He doesn't even say it hola, he says hola. So very authentic, you feel like family. Yeah. Jeff and some of the guys took 
a couple, they may, befriended the guys that work there and they went into town the second to last day yep. and had lunch. Um, this is a sober retreat center, so there's no alcohol on the premise, but on the last night we went, I mean, you guys went in and had a cerveza with Carlos and then yep. the last night at dinner, you can order whatever you want. We'll go out on the, to the uh, main Such good town. Food. The food there is so good. Like if, if we could just call it like a eating retreat. I think <laughs> I'd be happy. Eat I think the biggest thing, the ocean. Okay, so I talked about the green juices, the yoga, the sessions. Pretty much why I went, the ocean is right there. So you walk down the steps. There is a lot of stairs at this retreat center. You will want to know that. So if you are not able to access stairs, this might not be the retreat for you. Um, but the <laughs> Jeff's because he doesn't want to carry you and your suitcases. Um, yes, please pack light. One suitcase. <laughs> you can bring two. I bring two. Um, but then, Carlos will help. <laughs> you walk down the stairs and the beach is right there. Yeah. And then you can walk over so you can be on the rocks. Then there's a five minute private beach. And then there's the main beach, which is like a 15 minute walk, depending on which path you go. Mm -hmm. So I think that really covers everything. Yeah. I mean, just show up, be prepared to do, have yeah. some fun, do some work and relax a little bit. I anticipate. Detach. Detach. Get out of the matrix. Shut your phone off. I think we looked at our phones maybe at a minute yeah. at night to make sure nothing was happening at home, but it was shut it off. We shut phones off. off. Didn't I mean, carry they, it with me. They have Wi-Fi, so like you can check it, communicate with family. Um, but that, you can't see the forest with, um, through the trees, you know. Like you can't see what you're sucked into and the programs and the paradigms and the patterns you're in until you get out of it. Mm -hmm. So Yalapa, this retreat, gives you an experience. A place and experience and a support they even have like a spiritual library of books and movies mm -hmm. that you can dig into on your off time or even at night um, to take your experience a little bit further like everything really everything you need is there and I think that's oh I anticipate signups to probably I probably be full November definitely by December so if you're at least interested send me a message the deposit is 550 to go. I have a couple of people who are making that in installments and that's totally fine. And then the payment will be due um, January 1st. I think it says December 1st on the website, but I'll have to get the retreat center, everything by January. So we can work together because I know when you're paying for things out of pocket, it can add up, but totally worth it. Um, I'm sure this is a place I'll go the rest of my life, but not sure if we'll, we'll probably expand our retreat center locations in the future. So just, if you think you're at all interested, shoot me a message. I can jump on the phone. Jeff can talk to you. We'll talk about questions send and you videos. send you videos. There's two videos on um, my website that our videographer Chris did from Akati Productions. So they're really, really good. Um, one's on YouTube and one's embedded in the website. So check those out. If you want to see kind of the scenery, the landscape, it's the videos are incredible. So There's something for everyone, <laughs> something for everyone. Okay. Well, if you guys have any questions, holler and I hope to see you there.